Good afternoon, my crafty friends. How are you doing today? And once again, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. It's the middle of October, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So my name is Judy Melov, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Markham, Ontario, Canada. And I'm just going to wait a couple minutes, see if anybody pops on, and see if I can get this to show up on my iPad in case anybody does any comments, and maybe maybe I will see them, maybe I won't. So let me just see. All right, things are looking good. Now, it's funny, today I had no issues. Um, I had no issues logging on. It was just like the old way. I just hit the uh, go live button, and I tested it out first. <laughs> and so when you hit the go live button, you get a little countdown, three, two, one. And I got the countdown, and I haven't had that in, what, like three weeks. So I don't know what's going on. Anyways, it worked today. I had no issues, so I was perfect. Hey, Rose, thanks for joining me today. Yes, it is a beautiful fall day today. Um, let me see. I was out this morning. It was 12 degrees, and I think it's probably, what, 15 or 16 now? So... Hi, Shirley. Hi, Penny. Thanks very much for joining me today. I do appreciate you taking time out of your crazy, busy schedules and uh, and watching me go live. All right. So what have I got today? Uh, okay. <laughs> I have the same thing I had last week in case you missed it. This is such a good deal. I'm so excited about it. Um, so I wish I could do this, but I can't. So uh, I'm already a demonstrator, so I can't do this. But in honor of Stampin' Up's 35th anniversary, yes, they've been in business for 35 years. Uh, they are having a joining special. So if you sign up as a demonstrator, you have two options. Hey, Jean, thanks for joining me today. Uh, number one is you can normally... When you join Stampin' Up!, you get $165 worth of product, and it's only $135 that you pay. And you get a free paper pumpkin out of that, and you also uh, do not pay any shipping or any tax. So it's a great deal. Hey, Maureen, how are you? Thanks for joining me today. Uh, okay, but in honor of their 35th anniversary, they have two options. One is to get 35% off of the regular price. Or option two is to get an additional 35%. So to break that down, I have my notes here. So just because I know I'll forget and I'll screw it up. So to get the 35% off the start of the Carter kit, Carter kit, starter kit, <laughs> um, it's $87.75 rather uh, than $135. And you still get that $165 worth of product. So I don't know what the savings works out to, but, uh, well, it's 35%, obviously. But, oh, my God, $87.75, no tax, no shipping, plus a free paper pumpkin. Um, plus, you get $165 with a product of your choice. They don't say, okay, this is what you're getting. You get to pick what you want. Um, and plus, I will get to option two in a minute. But uh, plus, you also get to be registered for our free on-stage event, uh, which is on November 11th. So it's, um, it's um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's video. Okay. You don't have to go anywhere. It's just going to be, it's just going to be kind of tape type of thing. So you can just um, wash it in your pajamas if you want, whatever. Um, anyway, that is a $102 value. I had to pay the $102, but if you join Stampin' Up! Uh, during the month of October, you will get that for free. I feel like an infomercial. Um, okay, option two is to get 35% more, which means you will get $200. $222.75 worth of product for only $165. And again, you'll be registered automatically uh, for the video on stage. Uh, again, $102 value. And you'll also receive a free paper pumpkin, which has a value of around $30. And again, no tax, no shipping. Okay, so remember now that you get to pick what you want in your kit. You pay no tax, you pay no shipping. There is no obligation Okay, if you don't want to do another thing, you don't have to. You just get your kit and look at all your goodies and go, wow, what a deal I got, right? 
Um, you don't have to sell anything. You don't have to do videos like I am. You just play at your heart's content with all your new goodies. So anyways, if uh, you're interested in any of that, let me know and uh, we can talk about it more. Okay, so uh, today I'm just going to do a quick card with the Joy of Noel uh, bundle. So I'm going to turn the camera down. I might have to, this might take me a minute. Hang on. Okay, I need to hit that button. You like my what? What have I got? I got something hidden somewhere here that I didn't see, Jean. I missed your comment. Let me see. Like your top. Oh, it looks like my top. Okay, got it. All right, so let me just, I have to move this all over here. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay. All right, so the... Um, a Joy of Noel bundle is found on page 30 of the mini catalog. Okay. I think I forgot to mention that $102 value, $102 value for our virtual on stage. You will see products from the new mini catalog, uh, which is not available until January. But as a demonstrator, we get to see some new product in November. And if you sign up, you will be able to order uh, certain products from the new catalog in December rather than waiting until January. So again, another an, another infomercial. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's it. Page 30. And I will just show you here what's in this. So this is the Joy of Noel stamp set. So you get this cute little Noel stamp, making spirit sprite, some leaves, uh, some decorations, some little berry things, joyous, and a small to and from, okay? And the dies, we got 10 dies. So everything coordinates pretty much with the stamp set. So the Noel will cut out, uh, this will cut, sorry, is it stuck here? Okay, this thing will cut this, these will cut those, this is a separate little pattern because it doesn't actually cut anything. That will cut that. This will cut little extra little berries like that. And this one will cut this great big one. And then you also get uh, this one here that cuts um, these little things. Okay. Jean says her Joy of Noel bundle is coming next week. Oh, yeah. It's... um. It's good. So anyways, okay. So this is the card we're going to make today. But I think I'm going to change it up just a little bit because there is, I don't like these here. So I'm going to see if I can do something else with it. So anyways, okay. So we're starting with a piece of thick basic white. Again, it's five and a half, eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay, and that's going to give that a nice crease here, press, because... The um, the thick basic white seems to take a bit to um, get it to lay flat, okay? And I've already done a little bit of pre-cutting. So we're also going to be using these circle dies. Uh, just making sure that's what they're called, deckled circles, okay? So I use the second largest one to cut the uh, shade of spruce. All right, and then I use the third largest one to cut the white, and then I embossed it with the snowflake. I'm just looking for it here, and I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. I can never remember what it's called. Snowflake Sky Embossing Folder. Okay, so I emboss that with that. So that's that, and so it's the two second and third largest dies I used of those. All right, so I'm just gonna glue this together to start. I knew this was, I knew I didn't clean this very well. Let me just get a Kleenex and glue this, take this glue off and hopefully, oh, there we go. Put some glue on and we'll just glue that down like that. Okay, so I only have one card for you guys today because I am leaving for Mexico in the morning 
for a week. So I'm still kind of flustered trying to pack and get everything ready. And um, yeah, so I don't function very well when I have 20, 10 things on my mind. <laughs> So yes, I'm going with my youngest son and oh, well, my husband, of course, my youngest son and his wife and the two boys who are seven and nine. So we thought, yeah, we'll just go and, you know, oh, I'm looking forward to spending some time with the boys. I don't see them that often uh, for any length of time. I do see them as usually for like an hour or so. So um, yeah, so anyways, we're going to go and... Um, Penny says, why do I choose thick? Okay, because I like the thickness. The uh, I just find the other, the regular uh, basic white is like this. And it's just, I don't know, I just find it too flimsy. To me, it's cheap looking, okay? If you're going to make a card, then uh, to me, you want it to be nice. And this is much sturdier. Um, sometimes I find when you get a card made with the... Um, with the basic way you open it up and it's just, I don't know, it just feels icky. It just doesn't feel nice. So anyways, that's my opinion for what it's worth. So that's why I choose the thick. I only use the thick usually for um, if I'm using, doing maybe a 3D something uh, but, uh, or a base card. Other than that, I use the normal, um, the normal basic weight. So I hope that answers your question. Thank you for asking. Okay. So I just kind of lined this up a little bit and tried to leave the same distance on the card. And then I just turned it over and took my pencil and I'm just going to mark a line here. Like so. And then I'm just going to get my trimmer. And I'm just going to kind of line it up a little bit. Can't really line up a circle, but I'll do what I can do. And I'm just going to cut that off. Like so. Okay. All right. Make sure I'm opening this card the right way. Okay. Da, da, da. All right. And then I'm just going to glue that on like that. So we're just going to line it up right at the edge of the card there, right at the edge of the fold, right at the fold, I think is what I'm trying to say. There we go. Actually, I kind of cut this the wrong way. I just realized, but nobody will realize. I'm not even going to tell you what I did. In other words, I have all the heavy snow over on the side rather than at the bottom. I could actually do it like this, but... Um, I'm going to do it like this. All right, so then I need to take the stamp and I'm going to ink it up in the old olive. So we'll just ink that up. And I'm going to close it up so I don't get ink everywhere. And then I'm just going to stamp him like that. There we go. And then I've got, I have light and dark, real red, light and dark, shade of spruce, and light and dark, old olive. So I'm going to color some of the old olive. Oh, I'm just going to color this in a little bit. I've already colored one, so you don't have to watch me color the whole thing here. I'll just kind of, if I had real good points on how to color, um, I would share with you, but I don't because I'm not a colorist. So anyways, and then I just kind of took the light and just kind of blended that a little bit. Some people like to start with the light, but in most cases, I start with the dark for some reason. I seem to be able to blend it better, but again, that's me. 
everybody has their own way of doing things and that's what works for me. So it just gives it just a little bit of um, depth there, a little bit of dark, darker at the bottom there. Okay, yeah, maybe I will color it all. Then I've got the shaded spruce dark. So it's gonna kind of just kind of following these lines a little bit. I figure that's why the lines are there. Just add a little bit more at the bottom here. And let's do that one. Yeah, I knew there was another one here somewhere. And that little guy. A little bit at the bottom again. Okay, and then we'll just take the light shade of spruce and we'll just kind of color around the berries here. So sometimes the coloring can be very relaxing and other times I feel like I need to hurry because you guys don't want to sit here and watch me do this. So sometimes coloring can be quite stressful. But anyways, I'm just going to take my time. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, one more leaf. Okay, now I did find with this that the dark didn't show up that well. So I took, what did I take? I think I took the dark old olive. No, actually, I think it was the light. Don't remember. I think it was the light old olive I took. And just add it a little bit. Eh, maybe it was the dark. Hang on, let me try the dark. Yeah, it was the dark. So I found that actually shows up better. Okay, let me just show you here. So for example, this one here, you can kind of see it, but not a lot. But then if I add a little more in, it shows up much better. Okay, so I just added a little bit of, this was the dark old olive. Okay, and then the berries, I started with the um, light, <laughs> real red. I don't know why, I just did. I started with the light. We're almost done here coloring. Just bear with me here. It's just so pretty. Da, 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 da. You could go around the outside of these berries with the green, I guess, but... Oh, missed one. And then I just took the dark and let me see. You can see where um, it's a little bit darker there on that. So I just kind of did the top here and then just went around a little bit on that side where it's darker. I hope that makes sense. Okay, see how it's darker here? <laughs> and where it's darker there and darker there. So that's just kind of where I went ahead and put mine. And I put a little bit of dark or darker on the very top too. I don't know why, I just did. I have no idea why. Oh no. Oh well, well I have another one that's already done. So we'll just, cut the other one out because I kind of mucked that up there. So I need the die, which is this one. And I'll just cut him out. So just bear with me a second. 
Okay, I'm back again because I have to line him up here. And I can see better over here. So we'll just line that up. And I'm putting some tape down to keep it in place. Oh yeah, Penny now understands about me being distracted because she's leaving for Florida on Sunday for months. <laughs> I'm only going away for a few days. She's going for months. Okay, so this moved on me for some reason. So hang on, I have to do it again. I guess it needed a piece of tape on both sides or something. I'll just... Okay. Now it's as good as it's going to get. So I'm just putting this through the cut and emboss machine and cutting it. Come back. Did you miss me? <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right, so my card is here. All right, so I'm just going to show you here. So this one I kind of put like that, and I'm going to do the same thing, but I cut out some of these branches that I thought rather than putting uh, these things there. Now, I seem to be frozen again on my iPad. I don't know why that keeps happening. I seem to be okay on the phone. Okay, when you guys tell me if I'm okay still. And I thought I would just kind of... You guys aren't saying anything. Am I still frozen or am I still good? It says live. I'm going to keep going. Anybody? Okay, I'm good. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Rose. Yeah, well, my, my photo is frozen on my iPad. That's twice it's done that. Okay, so I think I like that better. So let me see. What do I want to do? I think I've got a piece of green, um, old olive and shaded spruce. So I think I'm just going to Put a little bit of glue on here for now. I don't really know what I want to do. So I want to be able to move it if I need to. So we'll just kind of put that one maybe there like that. And I'll put a little bit on this one. And we'll just kind of put that like that. All right, okay, so now we need to pop him up. So lots and lots of dimensionals. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, no, I need one there. See, I just... I know, I think I'm done, and then I'm not. Okay, and we'll just kind of put that there. Mm, okay, just like that, I guess. All right, I can glue that down a little bit more, or I might just leave it. All right, then the Noel, I took, let me just get this here. This is a piece of real red here, and I use the foam adhesive sheets, okay? They come in a package of five. They're in the annual catalog, okay? And they're kind of thick like that, all right? So instead of using dimensionals, I can just use this. So you just peel one side off and it doesn't really matter which side it goes on. 
and put that on like that. And then I'm going to take my Noel die. And I'm going to run it through the cut and emboss machine. And I'm going to run it through uh, a couple times. So just bear with me a sec. I want to make sure, because it's thick, I want to make sure that it's cut through. So I'm going to run it through and back again and through again and back one more time. And then I can see that it's actually gone right through. Okay. Let me get rid of this. Now it's all coming off, which is fine. There we go. Okay. So I have this fancy little ruler here. You can use your grid paper. If you guys don't have grid paper, it's really a good investment because you can line things up with the uh with the grid lines obviously and not only that it keeps your desk clean so something to keep in mind they can be found in the annual catalog and again if you want more information on that just let me know so this is a uh this ruler is a westcott ruler uh you can get it from pretty much anywhere any of the um stamping stores your scrapbooking store or online Okay, so now I'm just going to peel this off. Maybe. There we go. And I'm just going to keep my ruler here, and I'm going to push this down as close as I can get to the, to the edge of the ruler. And I can already see it's a little bit crooked. See, so even with the ruler, I still can't do it straight. All right, then we've got the O. Now I'll put that as close as I can. And then we're going to do the E. This is so much easier than trying to put adhesive on all these letters. It's stuck to my finger. There we go. And finally the L. See, even with my ruler, I think I'm crooked. And the L hangs off a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so that's all popped up as well. I don't know, it looks pretty good, I think. Looks pretty straight. Anyway, that's as straight as it's getting. All right, so then I need my little gemstones here once again. And again, um, I watched a video the other day, actually, and saw somebody trying to glue these on. And I was like, oh, my God. They kept moving around. They kept moving around. She was getting so frustrated. And then she says, well, you know, they take a while to dry and I don't have, and I don't have the patience to do that. So I'm just using um, glue dots because I don't have the patience to sit there and wait for it to, because it, it took quite a few minutes for it to actually dry and not to move. Okay. So we're just gonna stick one. there like so and then we'll pull another one out i love these little guys they're so cute i'm just going to kind of roll this up again in my fingers and put him on there and he'll go there like that and then we need a little red ball Kind of like, I guess that's supposed to be the cherry. And roll him up as well. There we go. Now put him down there. 
Okay, and we're gonna put one of these at the bottom. Actually two, I might as well get them both out. Two of these at the bottom. And a glue dot. And I'll just roll it up a little bit. And stick it in there. Yeah, you can use the glue. Um, I would recommend putting the glue on the paper rather than um, this because this is, the problem is this is like a sequin, it's very slippery. And that's why it takes the glue a while to dry and I just don't have the patience. I'd probably still be sitting here waiting and it would keep moving and I'd be frustrated. So I don't like to be frustrated <laughs> as I'm sure most of you don't either. All right, and one more little glue dot. Actually, I'll see if I can put that on there. That was easier. And put that one there. Hide some of the glue dot there because he's a little bit bigger. There we go. And that's it. We're done. This should have come down a little more, maybe. I wonder if I can move it still. Probably not. You know me, I should quit while I'm ahead, right? But I like to move things up. Screw things up, move them around a little bit. Okay, I want this to come back over there. So he's got to come off here. I know, I should leave. just leave it alone, right? Oh, he's right on the glue dots. All right. We're done. He's staying the way it is. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Anyways, uh, that's it. That's my card for today. What are the gems called? They are called Loose Holly Gems and Sequins. They're actually part of... Did I say this was on page 30? Was it 30 I said... Yeah, they're page 28, 29. The whole set is on page 28, 29, and 30. Okay, yeah, so they can be found on page 29, the loose holly gems and sequins, G. Okay, but I like them. They just add a little something, and uh, they're not overpowering or anything. So anyways, uh, that's my card, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed my card today. Okay, so I will not um, be here next week. This is actually quite crooked. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, I will not be here next week. Obviously, I will be in Mexico. So I will see you um, in two weeks. So you guys have a wonderful two weeks. And uh, we'll see you the last Wednesday of the month, whatever that may be. All right, you take care. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye now.